That crab cake coming out. Benedict, coming right now. Well, I grew up in a town called Maker, Mississippi. Um, it takes about 11 hours to drive there from here, from Chicago. Well, growing up in the South, it's, it's really, really all about family. Family's close. My mom and, and my great aunt, they, they did all the cooking. I mean, it was an interest to me. All I wanted to know was when was it ready. I had no interest in cooking at all. None. When I left high school, I came to Chicago, and so the only job that I could find was working in a restaurant, Cosmo Pierce Scott, washing pots and pans. I was little and skinny, and this later she said, that young man not gonna last three weeks. And I stayed there about 17 years more. I ended up being, you know, working my way up to executive chef at that store on State Street. Here you go, baby. Thank you so much. Everybody was like family. They took me in. They showed me everything. that I didn't know that they taught me, and, you know, how to work and and the chef he uh, saw some interest in me and told me I should go to culinary school. And after I graduated from school in 1972, been rolling ever since. All right, right now, right now, right now. You have to be quick. In order to do so, you have to be focused. It's the sense of urgency. That's what it is. You have to have that sense of urgency. If you got an ego, leave it at home. Don't bring it in here because in here, that customer that's sitting in that seat before you. That's the only thing that matters. Let me give him this order oh, here. And, and we carried it out throughout the whole organization. Got that family type thing going on here. And that's what makes it happen. Everyone cares. They care about the business. They care about the restaurant. They care about each other. And we don't have, that's why it's not a lot of turnovers here. And you can go around and ask waiters serve. They got 15, they got 10, they got 17. And down to the staff, the line cook, 10, 12, 15, 14, dishwasher. Five, six, seven, ten. I wasn't wrong. To be a good chef, I think the first thing you have to do is be a good listener. Seasoning and, and cooking techniques, that, that'll come. You can learn that. But to be a good chef, listen to your customers, listen to your people. What do you mean, Mark? Sorry, go ahead. Mark, give me that Mark. The Mark you get. Throw it away, throw it away. Oh, you got it? Yeah. All right. And I feel like the only way you can be successful in any business, anything, you have to enjoy it. But if you're not having fun with it, and enjoying what you're doing, you can't be successful. I enjoy what I do and the people that I work for. When I came here, I decided this was going to be the last job that I had.